there are multiple pathways students can take in middle school mathematics. And some of the pathways students learn at an accelerated pace, which includes completion of one or more high school courses taken by the end of eighth grade. Selection of a middle school math pathway should be based on academic needs and the interests of the individual student. We will share with you the sequence in which these courses can be taken and the possible pathways and requirements for students who wish to accelerate through the curriculum. The goal of all of our math courses in WJCC will be to support students in becoming mathematical problem solvers, communicating their thoughts and ideas mathematically, reasoning through mathematics while making connections among the math content, and using math representations to model and interpret the world around them through practical applications and situations. In WJCC, we are all math people. This middle school mathematics course sequence guide shows all the possible pathways for our students. Several student data points will be reviewed to identify students who could benefit from moving through the math content at an accelerated path. All accelerated options have been highlighted in orange in the, di in the diagram. We have extended the progression through the ninth grade year to show which options are available to students based on their middle school math progression. The graduation cap denotes the high school credit bearing courses and final grades in high school courses taken in the middle school will be credited to the student's high school GPA. Let's review our grade level courses. The pre-algebra 6 course, also known as Math 6, will continue to build on skills developed in whole numbers, decimals, and fractions. Ratios, proportions, and integers will be introduced to students to ma begin making abstract connections in algebraic reasoning. Students enrolled in this course will take the Math 6 Standards of Learning Assessment in the spring. In Pre-Algebra 7 course, also known as Math 7, we will emphasize proportional reasoning and problem solving involving consumer applications, properties of real numbers, solving linear equations and inequalities, and data analysis techniques will be studied. Students enrolled in this course will take the Math 7 Standards of Learning Assessment in the spring. In our Pre-Algebra 8 course, also known as Math 8, students will refine skills introduced in Pre-Algebra 6 and 7. They will also be introduced to concepts and skills necessary for Algebra 1. Elements in this course include the language of algebra, formulas, solving equations and inequalities, probability and relations, functions, and graphs. Students enrolled in this course will take the Math 8 Standards of Learning Assessment in the spring. Every school year, middle school students will take several required state growth assessments, as well as the IXL Diagnostic Assessment to monitor their progress and growth. Teachers will utilize this data to determine next steps for student learning, as well as identify students who may need more support and are eligible for math intervention. No handheld calculators are necessary for this course. Students will use the in will use in class as well as on the state assessment the same free online scientific Desmos calculator. Now let's review the accelerated pathways available to students in middle school. Students must meet qualifying data points to be enrolled in most accelerated courses. So when determining if an accelerated pathway is appropriate for your child, please consider the following. Has your student had prior success in mathematics, any strong background and foundation in mathematics? Does your student show an interest in mathematics? Is your student willing to commit time outside of school to study for this course? 
Accelerated pathways can mean that students are spending additional time outside of school to build math skills. Has your student set future academic goals in both high school and beyond? Do school-based personnel such as teachers, counselors, and administrators recommend that your child take an accelerated course in mathematics? If so, here are the courses we offer. The Pre-Algebra 6-7 course is a compacted course combining Math 6 and Math 7 content. This course will move at a very accelerated pace to cover the standards of learning in grades 6 and 7. An emphasis is placed on applying skills to abstract concepts through the discovery of algebraic relationships. Math performance criteria and teacher recommendation will be used as placement for this course. Students enrolled in this course will take the Math 7 Standards of Learning Assessment in the spring. Our Pre-Algebra 8 course can be taken in grade 7 for students who show notable strength in Math 6, I'm sorry, in Pre-Algebra 6 or in Pre-Algebra 6-7 course. Students must meet qualifying data points to be enrolled as a seventh grader. Students can also take a placement test in order to qualify. Contact your school counselor for more information. Students enrolled in this course will take the Math 8 Standards of Learning Assessment in the spring. Algebra 1 is a credit-bearing course that will appear on the student's high school transcript. A strong foundation for academic mathematics is provided in this course. This course will establish a working understanding of the terminology, notations, and symbolism of algebra. Student data will be used to determine student readiness for this course. Students enrolled in this course will take the Algebra 1 Standards of Learning Assessment in the spring. Geometry is also a credit-bearing course that will appear on the student's high school transcript. The course includes the deductive axiomatic method of proof to justify theorems and tell whether conclusions are valid. Emphasis will be placed on two- and three-dimensional reasoning skills, coordinate and transformational geometry, and the use of geometric models to solve problems. Students enrolled in this course will take the Geometry Standards of Learning Assessment in the spring. Several student data points and teacher recommendations will be reviewed yearly to identify students who may benefit from an accelerated path. No handheld calculators are necessary for these courses. Students will use in class as well as on the state assessment the same free online Desmos calculator. However, once students enter high school courses and start taking more advanced math courses, they may be required to use a TI-84 graphing calculator.